Good morning traders, it's the 20th of November and welcome to the Ichimoku Cloud Chart Market Update on the Nasdaq, S&P and Dow. It's Richard Miller here, I'm presenting today's Ichimoku Cloud Chart Market Analysis. We kick off with a 4 hour cloud chart on the Nasdaq 100. We can see after running into a little bit of resistance here at the 11.989 cloud chart shadow. It's this cloud level here on the left. The market's now struggling to get past that level. <coughs> We did earlier, uh, earlier in the you know earlier in the time, rebound from the uh, cloud chart support level here of 11.563. So now the market's range bound, with downside risk to the top end of the cloud here of 11.748. So that could be a potential rebound area if the market uh, corrects down to this level uh, for a trade into the year end, or when there's significant weakness 11.612 bottom end of the front of the cloud. So the front end of the cloud is support zone for Q4 year end and we need to see a potential rebound from these areas and with the old resistance levels of up here, just put a line in there, that is the old highs, these are all old resistance levels. So Mark is a little bit range bound, struggling to get past 11.989 at the moment but uh, any sell off up until the top end of the cloud yeah, could be a nice swing trade opportunity for a swing trade into the year end. If I now go to the S&P and I'm turning to the 4 hour chart we can see also a similar situation where the market's struggling to get past old resistance levels. In this case this old i 588 got blasted past there, closed the gap then rebounded from the front end of the cloud 3509 so that was a nice swing trade entry rallied back up only to run into the resistance at these close levels here and then consolidating the move tried to rebound from the cloud uh, t uh, t conversion line or the turning line of the cloud but there is still downside risk back down to the 3549 areas and 3509 so any kind of weakness to these levels can also be seen as a swing trade into the year end. The risk here is there's a MACD sell signal in the market on the 4 hour chart so there is the possibility of a consolidation back down to the front end cloud chart a support zone of 3509 and then an extreme weakness the bottom end of the cloud yeah 3500 but so far price action is still above the cloud that's bullish into the fourth quarter end of the year end rally so any kind of type weakness in and around these cloud chart levels could be seen as a swing trade into uh, into the year end. If I just load the Dow, yeah, I've got the Dow chart on. Now the Dow I'm concerned that we might see this gap being closed before the end of the year so this huge gap up now it managed to find support at 29097 that's a front cloud level and there's also the old high uh, the close open and close level there so these are significant uh, levels to watch out for any kind of weakness where it dips into the cloud where it looks at these levels here as well as the front end of the cloud let me just put a line in there front end of the cloud could be seen as potential rebound uh, rebound zones uh, for the Dow but I am concerned that we might see this gap being closed so any kind of weakness back down to 28,750 or 742 and this cloud level yeah let me put a line in there there we go 28408 that's a cluster of potential support based on the clouds uh, front end cloud and cloud chart shadow uh, Ichimoku cloud chart analysis we've got a MACD sell on, on the daily uh, on the four hour chart for the Dow so there's downside risk to the front end cloud chart support levels uh, so keep an eye on that but so far price action still above the cloud so we're bullish into the year end rally provided that the price action remains above the top end of the cloud until next time, happy cloud chart trading.